one of the most common things to debug is a security authorization check. And what I want to do in this video is just show you how this is done. So let's say, for example, I have this sales order. I press enter and I go in and I'm ready to make a change. Now, usually for most people, the authorization check is um, if you were, if you needed to do a, a check on an authorization, it's usually a Z authorization check, i.e. the company has put in specific code to check for something. You wouldn't usually need to debug uh, an SAP authorization check. But in this case, or in this example, I'm just going to show you how you do an SAP one. So normally, I'm j what I'm going to do is I am just going to change a value here. Yep. And I'm going to press enter. No problems at all. And before I save the document, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter debug mode. So you can see here debug has been switched on. I now will save the document. And what the SAP has done is saying, okay, you, you want to go into debug mode. It's bringing me to debug mode. And now I'm starting to debug standard SAP transaction, transaction VA02. It's big, it's massive. And what we want to do is we want to use the option breakpoint, breakpoint at, and we put statement. And what we want to do is we want to put this command here, authority dash check. That is the ABAP command that carries out an authorization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, Put a breakpoint when you see author authority dash check. Oh, losing myself here. I click on continue. And you can see here the breakpoint has been set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue. Uh, and you can see here it's now hit the first breakpoint. Now, the now in this case, subrec is 4. Um, that shouldn't really matter because what the program will do is when it executes the transaction authorization check, it will set it to zero if it's uh, okay or set it to four if it's not okay. That's why you see in the next line, you have the if subrec not equal zero, create an error message. So let's just do, uh, let's step through this piece of code and see what we get next. And as you can see here, subrec is zero. And that means that the authorization check here is all right. So let's keep on going to see if there's uh, anything else. And it stopped and it's again at this point, so most probably the program is looping to do something. Um, you can see, that's okay, let's keep on going. And there you go, sales order has been saved. So what I wanna show you now is what would have happened if subrec equals four, which means the, the authorization check fails. So I'm ready here to create a sales order. I now go again into debug mode. I press enter and as usual, the system opens up the debugging screen for me. I go into breakpoints. I say breakpoint at statement. And it says authorization check. I say yes. I go straight through the whole code and you can see here it's checking to see whether or not I have authorization for this particular object. And what I'm going to do, as we saw before, yeah, I am going to, you can see subrec is zero. Yep. What I'm going to do is I am going to do, I'm going to step through this check and you can see subrec is still zero, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to four. And this means that if it's four, it means that this select statement did not work or this transaction, uh, sorry, this transaction did not work and it's returning an error. So if I keep on going, you can now see it says, I have no authorization for maintaining this document type. And just to prove to you um, that it's just because I changed it, if I now press again, I leave it at zero I then do one step, subrec equals zero. I do all, it's going through more checks, so I'll just keep on skipping. 
uh, it doing quite a lot of security checks here and as you can see I can run the transaction so that's how you would see it uh,